Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the race around condition available in the flip flop. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notifications. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic race around condition in the flip flop. We know that flip flop is the storage element. It can able to store one bit data. The output is depends upon the earlierly available output as well as input. The input and present state of output will decide the next state of output. That is the basic, the basic of the flip-flop. So in this, what is the race around condition? It is the phenomenon which occurs in level triggering JK flip-flops when there is a 1 at both the input, of input terminals. For example, in JK flip-flop, the J value as well as K value is 1. Both are 1. In that case, the race around condition is exist. What is that race around condition? Race around means continuous toggling. The output will toggle from 0 to 1, 1 to 0. It is continuously toggle. Why it is toggling? If the width of clock pulse is too long, because in the we know that flip flop, every clock pulse the status will change. It is a sequential circuit. When the clock pulse supplies, the state will change from one state to another state. So in this, the width of the clock pulse is too long compared to the propagation delay of the gate. The state of flip-flop will keep on changing. That is from 0 to 1, 1 to 0, 0 to 1 and so on. And at the end of the clock pulse, its state will be uncertain. We don't know what is the output. Right? So the clock pulse is too long but propagation delay of the gate is lesser. So the state is changes from 0 to 1 but still after changing also the clock pulse is there means it will keep on changing 0 to 1, 1 to 0. right? So that we need to maintain clock pulse is less than the propagation delay of the gate. That is the one thing. Another thing is we can go for master slave flip flop. That is two flip flops are connected in series. So that is the remedy for this race around condition. So the clock pulse is more, propagation delay is less, the race around condition exists that is 0 to 1, 1 to 0 changes. So the clock pulse duration less than or equal to propagation delay of the NAND gate. So that is TP clock pulse should be less than DT that is the propagation delay of the NAND gate. So this is possible in edge triggered flip flop. Edge trigger means during positive edge or negative edge that is from 0 to 1 when the clock pulse changes from 0 to 1 is a positive edge triggering. 1 to 0 is a negative edge triggering that is one possibility. Another possibility is master slave flip flop. right? So these two cases available by using master slave or edge triggered we can avoid this race around condition. So in this video we discuss race around condition in the flip flop. Now we will see the master slave SR flip flop. SR flip flop master slave condition. A master slave flip flop is constructed from two flip flops. One circuit acts as a master and another acts as a slave. Then overall circuit is referred as master slave flip flop. The diagram is shown below. So this is the master slave SR flip flop. This is one SR flip flop. This is second SR flip flop. First one is act as master. Second one is act as the slave. The clock pulse is given to the first flip flop. Inverted clock pulse is given to the second flip flop. So that the race around condition one does not exist between master and slave. That is our main objective to avoid the race around only we are adding this master slave flip flop. Two flip flops are connected in series with inverted clock pulse. Now we will see the condition of the clock pulse. So this is the clock pulse available. Clock pulse is a S and R. Right. This keep on changing. This is a master output. So see this master set, slave set, master reset, slave reset, master no condition slave no condition like that it will keep on changes there is a it will not occur both s and r will be 
1. That is the race around condition. It consists of master flip-flop and slave flip-flop and a inverter. Both the flip-flops are positive level triggered but inverter connected at the clock pulse of the slave. So the master will get the clock pulse directly, slave will get the clock pulse through the inverter. These flip-flops are forced it to trigger at the negative level. Negative level is triggered. The output state of the master flip-flop is determined by the S and R input of at the positive clock pulse. Right? So the master flip-flop is triggered at positive clock pulse. The output state of the master is then transferred as an input to the slave flip-flop. The master output is given to the slave. The slave flip-flop uses this input at the negative clock pulse to determine its output. Right? So the master flip-flop is triggered at positive clock pulse. Slave then master clock master slave master output is given to the slave. The slave is triggered at the negative clock pulse. Now we'll see what is mean by positive edge and negative edge. See this is the clock pulse. So this is 0, 1 and 0. So this is the positive edge from 0 to 1. Changes from 0 to 1. This is the rising edge or positive triggered then what is negative triggered this one 0 1 0 and changes from 1 to 0 here 0 to 1 changes from 0 to 1 rising here 1 to 0 still it is 1 only but is a negative trickling falling edge right so every falling edge the slave is triggered every rising edge positive uh, master is triggered so the master flip-flop is triggered at positive edge, slave flip-flop is triggered at negative edge. There is, this is called positive triggered and negative triggered, right? 0 to 1, this is 1 to 0. Then what is the status of the flip-flop, SR flip-flop? This is the two inputs and present state, next state. What are the four conditions? If both the, play, both the inputs are 0, then the output, the uh, the present state is 0 means next state also 0. If the both are 0, present state is 1 means next state also 1. There is no change for 0, 0. Right. Then 0, 1. 0, 1 means reset. Reset means it is reset to 0. Then 1, 0. 1, 0 means set. Set means 1. The output will be set to 1. If it is 1, 1, it is undetermined. Right. So the 1 1 is undetermined that is applicable in the JK flip flop. This fourth condition is determined in the JK flip flop. Right? Both are 0 means no change. And R input is 1 means reset. Reset means 0. S input is 1 means set. Set means 1. Both are 1 means not defined that is available in the JK flip flop. So in this video we discuss what is mean by race around condition in flip flop followed by master slave sr flip flop sr two sr flip flops are connected in series then clock pulse is given to first flip flop that is master inverted clock pulse is given to slave so that master clock master sr flip flop is triggered positive edge slave is triggered at negative edge and also we discuss the truth table of the sr flip flop Subscribe the channel for more, vi more videos and notifications. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.